Good morning, this is Pastor Jeff. This is our daily lectionary readings for Monday, February 20th, 2023. We have our three readings. Our psalm reading is from Psalm 78, verses 17 through 20, and then verses 52 through 55. Then our Old Testament reading comes from the book of Exodus, 33, verses 7 through 23. And then our New Testament reading comes from the book of Acts, chapter 7, verses 30 through 34. Psalm 78, we start with verses 17 through 20, and today we'll be listening in from the New Revised Standard Version, the updated edition. Yet they sinned still more against him, rebelling against the Most High in the desert. They tested God in their heart by demanding the food they craved. They spoke against God, saying, Can God spread a table in the wilderness? Even though he struck the rock so the water gushed out and torrents overflowed, can he also give bread or provide meat for his people? And then it continues in verses 52 and concludes in 55. Then he led out his people like sheep and guided them in the wilderness like a flock He led them in safety so that they were not afraid, but the sea overwhelmed their enemies. And he brought them to this holy hill, to the mountain that his right hand had won. He drove out nations before them. He appointed them for a possession and settled the tribes of Israel in their tents. Our Old Testament reading comes from the book of Exodus, chapter 33, verses 7 through 23. Now Moses used to take the tent and pitch it outside the camp, far off from the camp. He called it the tent of meeting. And everyone who sought the Lord would go out to the tent of the meeting, which was outside the camp. Whenever Moses went out to the tent, all the people would rise and stand, each of them, at the entrance of their tent, and watch Moses until he had gone into the tent. When Moses entered the tent, The pillar or cloud would descend and stand at the entrance of the tent, and the Lord would speak with Moses. When all the people saw the pillar of the cloud standing at the entrance of the tent, all the people would rise and bow down, all of them at the entrance of their tent. Thus the Lord used to speak to Moses face to face as one speaks to a friend. Then he would return to the camp, but his young assistant, Joshua, Son of Nun, would not leave the tent. Moses said to the Lord, See, you have said to me, Bring up this people, but you have not let me know whom you will send with me. Yet you have said, I know you by name, and you have also found favor in my sight. Now, if I have found favor in your sight, please show me your ways, so that I may know you and find favor in your sight. Consider, too, that this nation is your people. And he said, My presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. And he said to him, If your presence will not go, do not bring us up from here. For how shall it be known that I have found favor in your sight, I and your people, unless you go with us? In this way we shall be distinct, I and your people, from every people on the face of the earth. The Lord said to Moses, I will also do this thing that you have said and asked, for you have found favor in my sight, and I know you by name. Moses said, Please show me your glory. And he said, I will make all my goodness pass before you and will proclaim before your name. The Lord and I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious and will show mercy on whom I will show mercy. But, he said, you cannot see my face, for no one shall see me and live. And the Lord continued, See, there is a place by me where you shall stand on the rock. And while my glory passes by, I will put you in a cleft of the rock, and I will cover you with my hand until I have passed by. Then I will take away my hand, and you shall see my back, but my face shall not be seen. Our New Testament reading comes from the book of Acts, chapter 7, verses 30 through 34. 
Now, when forty years had passed, an angel appeared to him in the wilderness of Mount Sinai, in the flame of a burning bush. When Moses saw it, he was amazed at the sight, and as he approached to look, there came the voice of the Lord, I am the God of your ancestors, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Moses began to tremble, he did not dare to look. Then the Lord said to him, Take off the sandals from your feet. For the place where you are standing is holy ground. I have surely seen the mistreatment of my people who are in Egypt and have heard their groanings. And I have come down to rescue them. Come now, I will send you to Egypt. And here ends our readings for the day. And remember that today was reflecting on what we had heard yesterday for Transfiguration Sunday, which had Moses and Elijah up on the mountain with Jesus. Peace. Have a great day.